Hi everyone, I'm Titus Soul, 13 years old this year and I'm from Nanhua High School in Singapore. My ID is SG7005 and this is my first time participating in the Robocup Coast Peace Rescue First Steps U19 Challenge. This may be my first time participating in the competition, but I have participated in many other robotics competitions throughout my primary school life such as NRC, WRO and VEX competitions. My strategy for the primary round is to go around the blue zones to get double points. I've created barriers so that my robot will be able to be directed to the deposit zone way quicker and easier, and it will direct my robot to different places. The black lines represent the movement of my robot, and the blue lines represent the barriers to increase chances to reach the deposit zone, and the red square is a barrier that only appears after the first round is completed. The first round includes the robot going through the blue zone and depositing. This is my flowchart. Uh, the flowchart helps me to know what I should be doing throughout the entire uh, program. At the start of the program, there will be three variables which will be on standby to activate each of the variable, the barrier. There will be another function that will be also on, which is to help me to turn the robot 180 degrees when it reaches that point so that you would go to the bottom of the map. Once it reaches to the bottom of the map, which is Y1, the, there will be a question asking whether there is more than one cube. If yes, it will move right. If no, it will move left. So if it moves right, it will go to the deposit zone. And if it moves left, it will go to collect more cubes so that it can go and deposit. Once it is deposited, it will ask another question, whether the load of objects is lesser than objects which is available. If yes, the barrier will equal to 1, and if no, the barrier will equal to 0, which means that something is wrong. If the barrier is equal to 1, variable 2 will be activated so that the robot will be able to go to the next area. If that is activated, uh, the robot will collect more cubes so that he will go to the deposit zone and it will deposit. Once it has deposited, there will be another question whether loaded objects is equals to zero. If yes, it will open the barriers to move on to the next area so that you can go to the top right to collect sign blocks and after that you will deposit at the original deposit zone. After that, you will end. So some problems I had with this strategy. Sometimes my robot will go too far into the barrier, which wasted time by spinning around and got stuck there for the entire game. So I will change the movement speed to reduce the chances of causing that. Also, I had many problems with the coordinates for the barriers as the robot's coordinates are usually not accurate. So it was through trial and error for my barriers to fully function properly. By using this strategy, the highest point I could obtain was 1,030 points. However, I did not record this, so I only had a gameplay for 970 points. It was a very challenging process given the limited time that I had. Through this competition, I, I learned a new programming language, C programming, to program a robot. It was a steep learning curve for me. The challenges that I faced were very tough but very interesting and I learned how to solve them along the way. This is a skill I cannot learn from my school curriculum and I believe it will come to use in the future. This is a picture of the 1030 points. Thank you. Now to move on to the gameplay.